Nearly 500 people killed in Philadelphia this year with two plus weeks still to go. It's a shocking number. But today, some much needed good news. There are now millions of dollars available to the city to stop the gun violence. Iowa News News reporter Madeline Wright is live in West Philadelphia with where the money is coming from. Madeline. Good afternoon, Siafa. Police say this is going to be a game changer, that it's going to help them process evidence faster to get shooters off the street. 18 months ago, that money did not exist. State lawmakers say big money from the American Rescue Plan Act will soon head to Philadelphia. $25 million in federal funding will go toward the Philadelphia Police Department, $20 million for the district attorney's office, and $5 million for SEPTA to solve and prevent crime. But we will get closer to the point of turning around evidence to generate leads faster so that rather than catching someone on their sixth or seventh rape, maybe it's the first one. Officials made the announcement at the Mill Creek Rec Center, where employee Tiffany Fletcher was fatally shot after being caught in the crossfire of a gun battle in September. Police are planning to use the money to hire 120 forensic scientists and expand its crime lab, which has been backlogged with evidence for years. Picture if you were sick right now and you went to a hospital and it was a third of the size that it should be. So you were put onto a gurney and you sat in the hallway for a year. Meanwhile, the district attorney's office is planning to use their portion of the money for license plate reader technology, installing more cameras and expanding its digital evidence lab. This grant is going to allow us to triple essentially the size of that lab. As for SEPTA, the transit agency is planning to use the money to expand Zero Eyes, a pilot program that detects guns. It's new technology. It's never been tried in a transit environment. This is a one-time grant, so right now officials are working to secure funding for the long term to keep employees employed and equipment maintained. Live in West Philadelphia, Madeline Wright, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, let's hope it works. Madeline, thank you.